The Prime Minister has pushed back against crossbench calls to dump his predecessor's stage three tax cuts as the contest of ideas ahead of this Thursday's job summit heats up. Anthony Albanese is also defiant when it comes to wage reform, promising to push ahead even if business and unions fail to reach a deal. It's been 100 days since Labor returned to power. Anthony Albanese marked the milestone by touting his government's achievements in office. We've hit the ground running. The next task will be lifting wages to help with cost of living pressures. That task taking centre stage at Thursday's job summit. Of course, none of us imagined that a two-day summit will entirely fix wages and job security. Business, unions and political leaders will come together in Canberra. The Prime Minister wants to find consensus, but he warns stalemate won't prevent the government from taking action. You wait for everyone to agree on everything, not much will happen. We want to get wages moving. One compromise has already been struck on the sidelines. The Council of Small Business has teamed up with the nation's peak union, the ACTU, on multi-employer bargaining. It would allow unions to simultaneously negotiate with multiple employers across the same sector, giving employees better pay and conditions and giving employers more flexibility. The devil is in the detail and we're going to create that detail. It's not as if... Um it's rocket science. The Employment Minister has welcomed the breakthrough. The workforces that have been shut out of bargaining have also been the workforces where you're more likely to find women working. But big business remains sceptical. Now, we need to tread very, very carefully here. This is, this is an opt-in process. We're not looking at any mandates or requirements. The opposition question how many employers have been consulted. And if I walk down the main street of Roma or Dolby in the inner small businesses, mm. I doubt that any of them even know who Cosboa is. And we represent between 800,000 to a million small businesses. This week's summit will not address the broader economic issues facing the country, including the need for tax reform. And while the Prime Minister says he won't bow to pressure from the crossbench to dump the controversial Stage 3 income tax cuts, he stopped short of giving the $184 billion policy his full endorsement. We inherited it and I've said that we haven't changed our position. On broader tax reform to help pay for rising defence and social security spending, Mr Albanese has revealed he's open to the conversation. Uh, we need to have a debate about how we, we pay for that uh, over a period of time. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.